right, uh, IPOB press release on the 27th. That's today. Uh, kudos to ESN for enforcing open grazing ban at Lopa, Olopanta. Okay, we, the global family and the movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, under the leadership of our great leader, Mazen Namdekano, the doggedness of our great security outfit called the ESN Network, who confronted terrorists masquerading as headsmen at Law Panther on 22nd of July, 2022. We commend the IPOB leadership who has been, who have seen what our people are passing through in the hands of these terrorists, kidnapping for ransom, rampaging our, rampaging or rampaging our mothers in forms of killing of our men in their farms and snatching cars from all travelers following the routes in Ishikwato, Umunoji, Isochi, and Okigwe since over two years. The government refused to heed to the crying of the citizens. The IPOB helps them for doing the needful at, the, at that area. We are pursuing responsible Fulanese not to do their legitimate. We are pursuing responsible Fulanese not to do their legitimate business. But we are after those terrorists masquerading as headsmen, kidnapping and destroying our people's lives and farmlands in that area. IPOB and ESN are responsible for the killing of cows, encroaching into, into people's farms, farmlands. We also warn the Fulani terrorists not to venture attack any community in the area as in their nature. If they attack any community, that means Fulani will no longer be allowed to do business again in that market. IPOB advise all Fulanese a legitimate business to ensure they stay within the designated area assigned for them in the market. They must not exceed the square meters and measurements given to them in that market. If they do, they will have scores to settle with IPOB. IPOB is not a terrorist movement. Our focus is on peaceful Biafra referendum for citizens of Biafra to decide their fate in Nigerian project. We are not Fulani terrorists who use Boko Haram to terrorize good luck, a Barry Jonathan out of office and force lead Buhari, a terrorist sponsor into office. Even though Elohim destroyed the terrorist sponsor, but the caliphate manipulated their ways and forced an imposter, a masked wearer into Asurok. That's why Nigeria has divided and spoiled beyond redemption. Clueless Arewa group mentioning P2B's name with the activities of IPUB shows that they are suffering from what we call Ibuphobia. Peter Obi belongs to Nigeria Airlines. His condemnation of silence on IPUB activities is none of our concerns. We are Arewa. Terrorist sponsors did. Alahaji Atiku Abubakar condemned the gruesome murder of Deborah Yakubu in Sokoto State last two months. Instead, he encouraged Muslim fanatics who murdered and burned the lady in their school because she posted something that was not related to the Muslim family. Let's be crystal clear to Arewa groups, and whoever cares to listen, that IPOB and P2B, with other Igbo politicians, have parallel objectives, and they have nothing to do with IPOB strategy and operatives. This is very important. I want them to listen to this. We have nothing to do. You know, when you say something in parallel, they can never meet. They are going, there's no crossroad, nothing. The terrorists masquerading as headsmen in Law Panta should know that ESN and IPOB is responsible for the recent decimation of cows 
that the terrorists are using as cover to kidnap, rape, and destroy our people's farmlands. Therefore, if these terrorists attack any community in that area, they must prepare to leave that area and, in fact, entire Biafra land. We are not interested in whatever their political leaders and their political collaborators in Igbo land are saying. IPOB and ESN has responsibility to keep our land safe for our indigenous people and lawful residents. We will not compromise on this obligation, even when the compromised Nigerian security have joined the agenda to forcefully take over our land. IPOB is the people, and the people are IPOB. And no one or tribe will take over our land, not today, not tomorrow. It's signed by Comrade Emma Powerful, Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOB. She's very clear. We're making it very, very clear. We are parallel lines. P2B is running his own one Nigeria. We are not interested in that. That is his choice. Let him keep doing what he's doing. We are quest. Our quest is for our freedom, our independence. That's all we're asking for. We're not asking for something that is uh, rocket science. They, 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 can, they can do all they can do, but you know something? We are very, very resolute in what we're saying. When we have done something, we'll take responsibility for it. The decimation of the cows that are that go to spoil our farmlands, the ESN and IPOB have taken control of that. If you think that you can go and attack the villagers, the natives that live in that community, then you are now forcing us to come after you. We are coming after terrorists, not full of need people that are doing legitimate business in the area. If they, as long as they keep to their as long as they keep to their uh, their territory, they, they've given a place to stay. That area is where they occupy. That area is where they will do their business. If they encroach beyond that, they are. By the way, we are making it very clear. This obligation signed shows you that we are not after you as a person. We are after the terrorists that are in the area. So for you to go and attack anybody in the community thinking that they are, no, we are taking full responsibility. ESN and IPOB are the ones that will decimate and will continue to decimate. They're not going to stop. Oh, I mean, they're talking about the, the cows, the animals that go to destroy our farms, that rape our mothers. The terrorists are using these animals as a camouflage to get into our land and destroy our people. We are not going to let it happen. The ESN and IPOB, they are out there to do what is right. The message is very simple. You can do whatever you like. P2B can run around with you guys. Cool. If you like to do that, let him do it. But none of you, none of you, all of you, have anybody got up to say the killing of these 14 children? Did he mean anything to you? You never commented on it. The one they call Atiku Abubakar. <laughs> That one, they kill somebody, and somebody probably something. The next minute, just quickly brought it down. Oh, it's not to my knowledge. Yeah, what? What do you need? What should it be out of your knowledge? An innocent girl was killed, was brought out and killed and murdered because because she said something. You don't condemn it. Today, you are running to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> hey, I've quickened up. We are watching. The only election we are interested in is referendum. If you conduct a referendum, a peaceful one, let us decide on where we want to go. We'll be saying these things and we'll keep saying it and we're not going to stop saying it. No matter what you do, we are asking for a referendum and that is what we're going to get.